Many pilots believe that the most dangerous stages during the flight are takeoffs and landings. But there are airports in the world where takeoffs and landings are scary even for highly professional pilots. They have to show real miracles of maneuverability. Number 10. Gibraltar International Airport It may seem that the airport is quite normal, but if you take a closer look, you'll understand, that's not. Undoubtedly the most exceptional fact is that the main runway passes through the main street of the city. Every time when a plane should land, the cars must stop. Landings are also complicated due to the fact that the island often has windy weather. Number 9. Princess Juliana International Airport on St. Martin's Island. The end of its runway is located to close to the Maho Beach. The shock wave from the plane engines has such a power, that it literally knocks down the curious extremals watching the takeoffs. While landing, planes fly low over the beach, almost touching a tourist's heads. Number 8. Nastraswak International Airport in Greenland. A lot of fjords are located very close to this airport, and this is not all dangers. In this area is increased turbulence, usually even when there is no strong and gusty wind. Only well-trained and experienced professionals are allowed to fly in this region with such extreme climatic conditions. Number 7 In 2010, the History Channel called this airport the most dangerous in the world. Lukla Airport in Nepal. It's located in the Himalayas at an altitude of 9,500 feet, and its runway is framed by a high mountain from one side, and a very deep abyss from the other. This airport earned the title, of the most extreme airport in the world, for one more reason, takeoffs and landings are carried out only by VFR, because only the radio station can be used here. Number 6 Maypane Airport in the Kingdom of Lesotho This is not an airport in usual sense. On a mountain plateau, stretched 1,300 feet long runway, and it ends, with a precipice of 1,900 feet. In 2009 this extreme airport was banned for air travel. Number 5 Courchevel Mountain Airport in France The airport has an extremely short runway and its tilt angle is 18.5 degrees. 
The functionality of the airport is also limited by technical conditions due to the lack of a landing approach for navigation systems. This leads to the fact that landing during fogs, or low settling clouds is absolutely impossible. Number 4. Tonkantan International Airport in Honduras. The airfield was built in a valley, around which the mountains rise. The runways are equipped at high altitude. Because of these factors, the planes must fly over mountains at an angle of 45 degrees. Also the wind creates additional complexity, forcing to make amendments literally in the last moments. Number 3. Gustav III, Airport of the St. Barthelemy Island in the Caribbean Sea. The runway is very short, moreover, it's located in an incredibly narrow place, bounded on the sides by rocks. During the landing the aircrafts are extremely close up to the slopes, and there is a threat of falling into the ocean. Number 2 Mantisuk Airport in Greenland. It can only serve stall airplanes, also there is no anti-icing equipment at the airport. Because of Greenland winters and increased turbulence, the landing in this airport is a problem. Number 1. Paro Airport in the Kingdom of Bhutan. Airport is located in a small valley of the Peru River, surrounded by Himalayas mountain peaks. Because of its location, this airport is recognized as the most extreme in the world for landings. According to the various sources, only a few pilots from around the world, have a license and permission for such extreme landings. The aircraft crew must made incredible turns among the mountains to make a landing. Takeoffs is no less terrible and dangerous, the plane should fly in a spiral right above the airport, gradually gaining altitude to fly over the Himalayas. Such tricks are possible only during the day, and only with good weather conditions. And which airport is the most dangerous for your opinion? Write in the comments.
Thanks for watching.